Link 2012. Beautiful. Look at all of that. Alright. Oh, yeah. Don't want that creeper exploding. That would have been really bad. Because I don't want the spawner to go bye-bye. Alright, so we get strength for 8 minutes, speed for 8 minutes. It's just speed 1, but that's okay. It's okay. I, I'm fine with that. I'm really happy, actually. I get anything. Right, we got a bunch of things we have to get here. Yeah, the arrows on the ground are really annoying. Because they will still give you the effects. Advanced harpoon guns. That's nice. Did I put an urchin spawner in here? I guess... I don't know. <laughs> it seems like it, because there's a lot of them over here. Alright, let's go ahead and grab these chests. Wonderful! One more. Here we go. I wonder if there's anything under here. I doubt it. Highly doubt it, but, you know, just in case. Oh, this is probably where they're spawning from. We do need to take it out yet. Perfect. So now that we're over here, what do we do? <laughs> Okay. Oh, so this actually, the waterfall goes way up here. It doesn't start down there. Okay. Very, very good. It's a very fun portion, going up this way, although I want to go back over here first. Because there are some spawners, and that makes me think that there's something. Really could use some fire right now. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Is, is there any gravel here? Oh, I doubt it. You can find gravel. We don't have we don't have steel though, okay? So we can't make something to burn this down, even though I really want to. And this area is massive. Just so much that we have to explore in the end. Just line it all up. All right, we'll get that later. Just gonna run around here though. Setting off all the spawners and lining it up a wee bit. We're so far in, man. How do we get out of here? Oh, gravel! No, I just need the steel part of it. And actually, I do know where we can find that. Let's head around over there. And we can burn a lot of this down. <laughs> and that should make our life easier, I guess. Bye, implosion mom. We're going to keep one torch, so that way we can move fast. Although I really should get out more torches. Alright. Go. There we go. Perfect. Hello, glitches. Goodbye, glitches. The nice thing is that if the creepers don't notice you right away, you can kill them. So that's what we did right there. All right, we got gold right here. We don't really need that. We want the iron, which is a bit a ways over here still.
right? And that was where it was, but I just want to clear this out a little bit beforehand. Alright, no bugs, please. Oh, great, I have to mine through this, don't I? Twice, apparently. Alright, so this says... Room for squandering. Room of squandering. I'm pretty sure I added that in. Perfect. Alright, now we have iron. We actually have all these resources. Let's see. Oh, no, I forgot. You can't pick it up. No. Except if you use a hopper. Oh, but none of the items in here can you can pick up. Okay. So we need to get a hopper. Oh, yeah, even the essences around here you can't pick up. That's a bummer. I was looking forward to that. I mean, I guess we can take a quick trip back. As long as those horses are working now. Um, because I did want that flint and steel. And we can put away a lot of these sets and XP bottles and whatnot. Let's just hope the teleporter works. Oh yeah, it'll work now. Yeah, now that we updated the clock. Alright, where is it at? Down there? Alright, we can do it. Yeah, especially with these boots, we fall a little bit slower. Wonderful. Back to Recovered Haven. Just like that. Junk-wise, we have a lot. We don't need most of this. Oh, we got an iron sword somehow. That's, that's interesting. Where are my bows? Down here. Oop, put that in there. And another iron sword. Hmm, suspicious. Let's put these away. This can go. Let's put these all in here. And we got to get the sets as well. Hey, I think we can get the Charisma of Levitation. All right, what do we have? Let's put the Philosopher's set in here first. Beautiful. So if we don't have enough experience bottles for a Legendary set, we can always get those things. Okay. Would like a really good harpoon gun, but for now, we're gonna keep this. And this. Need more light. We're going through it like, every, like, I don't know, some adjective, some noun. And strength wise, let's grab another stamina potion. We'll probably won't need it in the end. Blocks. Boom. It's completely empty. Good. We can use that purple mist now. And I think we're good to go again. Oh, we want a hopper and a flint and steel. So let's go ahead and grab a flame war. Do we not have any other better flint and steels? No, we just have flame walls. Okay, there now. And... Hopper. Bound to be a hopper in one of these. Yeah, there we go. Oh, but we won't be able to destroy this hopper, will we? Because we won't be able to pick it up. Meaning that we're going to need water source, and I should probably grab at least two. 
I already have a water source, so that's good. But we will be using Prism of Levitation on that slot, probably from here on out. Right. Oh, back to the teleporters. Come on, why aren't you working, horse? Right, I'm gonna have to fly up. Wait, is there something down here? Oh yeah, that's the the redstone for the horse. Beautiful. Okay now. Let's grab these things. These beautiful Ugh. things. All right. Now, where I collect them, let's do this. Put mine in the ground. Come on. All right, perfect. Go that way. Yeah, get in, go in there. <laughs> All right, you guys are seeing everything. <laughs> we really should make a path for everything. The way it flows all in the same way. Right. Oh, no, 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 we don't want you to go out. Stay in, stay in. If we get it all in one corner, then it'll be really easy. Right, get into that corner. Nope, wrong way. There we go. Very good. Nope, nope, nope. Wonderful. Why did not my... <laughs> Come on! Let's get in there. This shouldn't be too complicated. There we go. And of course they only go in so fast, so I only get so many at once. All right. There we go, we got resource blocks now. With a lot of effort. Lots of bottles of enchanting, and of course just one. Oh, this one has two, that one has one. Hmm, interesting. Go in the game. Imagine if you dropped, like, your pickaxe in there, and you didn't know that trick, you'd be pretty mad. Alright, pretty sad. Oh, where to? There's just too many choices about where to go. Come on, there we go. Light it up just a wee bit. Get more XP bottles. Boom! Oh, look at that music thing. And a, some XP shooting an air arrow. I guess you'd call it an arrow. <laughs> Basic harpoon gun. Oh, 
probably could get those. The most valuable resource was hay. Uh, I'm, I'm referring to the uh, the glitched whatever this thing is called. I can't remember what this this uh, island is called. Um, where we're in survival mode because we did run out of food, and then you couldn't run anymore. So it was great if you had uh, those hay barrels because you could convert them into. Ouch. Oh boy, get out of here. You can convert them into bread. That was pretty much the only source of food possible. I think it ran out pretty quickly though. <laughs> okay. I want to go back to that bonuses area, that way we can grab those bonuses and move on to the next part. Oh, yes, and we have the flint and steel so we can light some stuff on fire. Oh, we could also get... What am I thinking? Let's also get the uh, Charisma of Levitation. Now that we have... That. It'll also help negate fall damage, because if you equip it, then you get a jump boost. And, of course, the jump boost... Oh, it's all on our ender chest, isn't it? I jump boost makes it so that you can fall farther without taking damage, of course. Because, I mean, if you jump that high and you fall with normal fall damage, you're going to take a whole lot of damage. So it negates fall damage, which is cool. Right, good. It's only 25. Charisma of Levitation. Let's go ahead and put this right here. Yep, already... Already having some fun with it. And I like how I put it on this ship. That way you can already start experiencing the fun with it. Sort of useless, though, for fall damage utilization because we do have the boots. Um, Alright. Oh, let's put these in here, too. I'm not going to use those. Let's check out the rest of the ship, though. Oops. Right. It was interesting lighting up this ship because I had to get it to where everything had a light level of what was it, seven or more? I can't remember. Um, it's been so long since I did technical stuff in Minecraft. Uh, that way the mobs wouldn't spawn on the ship. I didn't make this a mushroom biome or anything. It's legit just torches that are keeping the mobs from spawning. Man, I don't see it. Oh, wait. Maybe that right there is the chest I'm thinking of. Yep. Does God make mistakes? Does God make mistakes? Yeah. So, here's the deal. This is a giant brain. On oh, this area. The dome of it is, is meant to represent a brain. You'll see a neuron when we get close to the top there. Um... And it's called Glitched, and there's a lot of glitches and bugs and just all these things that you'd imagine are mistakes. So that's the question that really um, you're meant to be pondering in this area is, or one of the questions you're meant to be pondering in this area is, well, does God make mistakes? Or does his divinity make mistakes, I guess, in the case of this map? Um... Because it appears it's very obvious that God makes mistakes, but does he? Um, that's just some food for thought. What is a mistake? <laughs> you know? All right. That thing's on fire now, so it's fun. Right, I'm gonna have a lot of fun burning a lot of this down. Yeah, 
because a lot of this is in the way. And the more we can take down, the better. I suggest we just, I think we should just go around the whole place and just light stuff on fire. Just burning it all down. Oh, here's a hidden chest and it has, it's interesting. It's almost like a little water barrel. Yeah. Lighting it all up. This is really fun jumping up. <laughs> oh, the only thing I do worry about is houses like this if we light them on fire. Not sure what that'll end up doing. Oh, and as you can see, the fire is already doing its its justice. It's spreading. It's destroying. I'm lazy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, let's not destroy this whole portion right here. Let's just light this berry on fire. Is are there no Oh we really should grab those bonuses too. Oh and yeah, I love how the glitches no longer affect us thanks to the levitation. I want, I want some more. I want it to be eight minutes. There we go. Perfect. I guess it's nine minutes, technically. And we're going to get a lot of lag now, thanks to all the fire. Can increase the tick rate, theoretically. Although, I'm pretty sure I use that later on, so I really shouldn't modify it right now. Ha! You just made me go faster. Trees are annoying because the vines burn at different speeds than the, the wood, so it, it doesn't work how you might think it would. In an upside down thing, with some more errors and whatnot. Oh! Right. Give me your essences. It is, in essence, what I want. Oh, we really should have grabbed some more, uh, whatchamacallits. Oh, and our flame war is almost out. We need to be more careful with our fire placement. Actually, burning the leaves might be the best place to start, because then you work down the tree, and then you spread on the across the canopy. Hey, we're climbing this mountain now. <laughs> Didn't intend to do that, but hey, we're up here, so suppose we are. And now that we're on the canopy, let's go ahead and light a fire. That was unexpected. That, uh. How we got cut short right there. We hit the, hit the top of that. Oh, good, it's spreading. I, w I was afraid it burnt out. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. All right. It appears it's doing its business over here very well. We really should switch this out for food. That way we can eat a little bit. And there is a chest over here that I see. Although it's, there's spiders everywhere. And whatever this spawner is spawning. Oh, more spiders. I guess it's... It'd be safe to assume that anything in a tree would be spiders. Oh, and would you look at this? This is an enhanced harpoon gun. Oh, that's perfect. I like that. Wait, can you get an enhanced and, uh, 
advanced harpoon gun. Advanced enhanced of harpoon gun. I bet I think I do have a few of those in this area. Um I hit a certain number of them. I always limited myself to a certain number of special items. Uh, because, well, A, you don't want the player getting too many of them to where they're not really that special. And uh, B, multiplayer. <laughs> you do need multiple because you do have multiple players. All right, let's get down here. Wow, look at that. The forest is burning. It's beautiful. All right. And some sheep now. That's cute. Okay, so I guess we go up. We'll go up the normal way. Although let's re let's uh let's get our bonuses back here. We made it to make more flint and steel. Oh, we just got some steel. Yeah, because this flame war is almost out. Did we get what was it? Whatever was in here. Yeah, we did. Okay. Boom. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> It's little gravel in this, and that's why we had to use lava to ignite the uh, portal in the glitch map. Was because flint and st the 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 gravel was so rare that you needed the actual flint and steel. Uh, you needed sorry, you needed uh to use actual lava. Blech. Okay, good. Where was the the, where is that um, stuff from earlier? I guess we'll burn this down like right up. I wanted to get right here. Boom. Beautiful. That'll be fun. We don't have that many arrows, so we really can't use the harpoon gun for now. Where is my... Where are my... of gravel. There's got to be one here. Or two. Man, I guess we're going to have to go check somewhere else because this here is no gravel. Alright. But that's okay. We're going to explore this place here. Oh, it might be wise to get up there. I'm sure there's something up here.